The gentlewoman from Washington is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, this feels like deja vu. Once again, the House is ignoring the challenges facing our nation in order to attack women's health. Already this year, the House has voted to restrict reproductive health care in private insurance, enact a sweeping 20-week abortion ban, and allow employers to discriminate against their workers for using birth control. Now, with just five legislative days before a shutdown, we're wasting our time on a bill the President has said he'll veto. It's past time for Congress to stop focusing on ideology and start focusing on the facts. And the fact is, defunding Planned Parenthood would have a devastating effect on women's access to health care. That care includes cancer screenings, immunizations, and birth control. And as my colleagues are well aware, current law already prevents federal funding for abortion services. It's shameful that the House is all allowing the reckless actions of a few extremists to jeopardize the critical safety net provided by Planned Parenthood. We can't let that happen. I urge my colleagues to vote no, and I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentlewoman